I love Christmas time! <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to today's vlog! I have not been great about filming lately, but honestly, it's because I have been working on getting better. If you're new to my channel, I've been dealing with chronic illness, and I am getting better from chronic illness. Pretty simple. There are a couple wins I want to share with you guys. First of all, last Friday, James and I went to park and we walked around for like 30 minutes. That's a big deal. Wasn't able to do that before without crashing and having to spend a long time on the couch suffering after that. Then it was Tuesday night this week. This one was huge for me. If you don't know, I used to dance. I also kind of taught dance a little bit on the side. I got to substitute three, three ballet classes. That's a lot. It was three and a half hours on my feet. And I had a little break, so I got to like do my little self-directed neuroplasticity practice in between. I mean, yes, I was worn out afterwards, but I was fine, I was good. I didn't crash. I am making significant progress and I'm so excited. God is so good. So today, I just figured I would vlog, show you some things throughout my day. I don't really know, I needed to vlog, so I'm picking up the camera. But first, I just kinda want to share about some things I've been thinking about, and maybe someone out there might need to hear this. It's December right now, you can see my tree in the background, which I think we need the lights on. Much better. I'm in my giant sweatpants, don't judge me. Man, I totally have a lot of energy right now. It's really awesome, but I'm trying to focus on just filming. So I just wanna share for a moment something I've been thinking about, something I've been hearing a lot about, and it is Christmas time right now, so a lot of people are overwhelmed because there's a lot going on in Christmas, it's very overwhelming. But more specifically, I've been talking to people who are just overwhelmed because they're not sure what's next. There's so many options, there's so many possibilities. I could go do this for a job, I could go there, I could go to this college, I can go to that college, I could move there, I can move there, I can stay. I know for me, right now I'm making progress and it can be easy for me to be impatient because I want to be 100% better so I can pursue the things I want to do. I want to know when will I be able to work full time again? What's gonna happen with YouTube? There's so much that I just don't know what's next and it can be hard when you're a control freak and you wanna know all the answers. I think back to when I was graduating, I was giving my valedictorian speech because I was a valedictorian. I was also homeschooled, so that's my carrot. <laughs> just say it. I was homeschooled, so I was the only one in my class, so there's that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep those carrots in there for a few minutes longer so there's a good chance it will beep again. But I remember when I was graduating, I had no idea what was next at all. I kind of thought, you know, college is probably a good idea, but I don't really know if that's what I wanna do anymore. I was so unsure. And I remember the verse, I'll have to look up where it is, probably a psalm or a proverb, I honestly can't remember, but it says that God's word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. So if you think of a lamp, like a lantern to your feet, that will only show a couple steps ahead. So you just have to trust God and take those steps. Maybe you're like me and you wish it's like a flashlight where you can, the flashlight beams across and you can see way down the road. But the reality is that's not how it works. We're not meant to know all the answers, but we're meant to trust God and take a next step. I know there's been plenty of seasons where I've really struggled with, okay God, so what do you want from me? What is your will? What am I supposed to do? Is it this, 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 or that? I'm just gonna sit here and pray and wait for you to tell me where to go. But there's been many circumstances where I feel like God has taught me that seek Jesus and make a decision. And no matter what you do, if you're seeking Jesus and you're living a life striving to please God, He's gonna bless you wherever you are. He's gonna work in you wherever you are. Side tangent. I know it can be scary and you can be anxious about the future. What if I fail? What if things don't go the way that I want? 
What if my worst nightmare happens? Let me tell you something. My worst nightmare happened. My worst nightmare, honestly, I was kind of afraid of getting really sick and that affecting my life and what if something crazy happened and I had to stop working. It's something I had thought about before and my worst nightmare happened. It was a nightmare. But you see, even in my most broken places, God has used that to work in me in a significant way. Not only that, there are so many things I would have not done. I would have never done YouTube for one. You wouldn't be watching this video if it, if it weren't for things not going the way that I planned. I'm totally doing all this on the fly, so that's kind of why it's all over the place, but I'm hoping something is encouraging to someone in some way. But it's funny because last week, James and I got the opportunity to speak at a school. It's a Christian high school. We were going in for their leadership track and we we're actually gonna talk on why the five year plan is a myth. So really we we're talking about what to do when things don't go the way that you planned. So I was walking in there, I was gonna share about all my health issues and how uh, God you know, helped me learn to embrace versus endure and all those things are really, really great. Well, in the middle of my talk, like in the, well, it kind of in the beginning of my talk, I stopped mid-sentence because I started to black out and I had to sit down and I'm pretty sure I blacked out for a second. That was crazy. That was probably a moment they would never forget, but it turned out really cool actually. It, blacking out is a horrible feeling, but, <laughs> but I got to go back in there and say, okay, I was not planning on that at all, we're gonna let God, there's, there it is again. <laughs> I'm so sorry, as I was saying. But what we were able to do is say, okay God, this is what's happening right now. Now we're gonna let you use this to make this talk what you want it to be. We're gonna let you make this better than we could have imagined. And it was hard for me because I was emotional, honestly, sharing about my story and the fact that I just about blacked out but I have just been reminded that there's no point in worrying and stressing about what you're gonna do, where you're gonna go, what's next way down the road. Just focus on serving Jesus now. Just do something, take a step, and God will lead you to where you need to go. I know that's oversimplifying it just a little bit, but honestly, I think we overcomplicate it quite a bit so often. Yeah, I just wanna share that. Those are all kinds of thoughts, but for those of you who are stressing out about doing what God's called you to do, God's called you to be holy. So strive to be holy, like that's the answer. And then just do something to serve Jesus. Yeah, God and God will work in your life in significant ways. I'm really scared about editing this and it's not gonna make any sense, but that's part one of the vlog. Now we'll continue on to the rest of my life. Some other things that I'm up to, I just edited this video for Church Online and make some videos for our Church Online volunteer sometimes. If you ever wonder what I use to edit, I just use iMovie, it comes free on every Mac and it works. It does what you need it to do pretty easily. I just roasted some carrots. They're colorful, which are my favorite, with avocado oil and pink salt and thyme. And I'm excited to snack on these. I was just crying because God is good. I'm really happy. Um, there's a lot of exciting things happening in my life. So. Yep. I'm gonna drink some of this kombucha. It is raspberry lemonade flavor. This has been one of my favorite brands to drink from recently, Clearly Kombucha. And the reason why is they sweeten it with stevia, so it's only got one gram of sugar total and one carb per serving. There's two grams total, I guess. The ingredients are really good. The only thing that's really not good in there is that it says natural flavors, and we don't know what natural flavors mean because it can mean anything, but but no matter what, it's still organic and non-GMO and all that stuff, so cool. It is very cold. <laughs> Close. Close. There it goes. Last time you saw me, I was at the mall. 
it's the next day and <laughs> James and I are at the mall. I'm just here to touch the soft things. There you are. Were we successful? We were very successful. I got even more than I wanted. They gave me a blanket. Free blanket. You're not even. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we just like to ride on these for fun. That's what yeah. we do on our day off. We'll typically ride up and down the escalator about 10, 20 times, or at least until somebody tells us to stop. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm editing the video and I want to end it. It was pretty random, but I hope that part that I sat and talked about thoughts and things, I hope that was interesting or helpful to someone. I think sometimes it's nice just to film videos where I'm sitting down and talking. So if you have suggestions for topics of things that I could just talk about in videos, please let me know and I would love to make a video talking about whatever question or topic that you have. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night. <laughs> Truman shows one of my favorite movies. I will see you in the next video. Bye!